warm greeting to one and all dear friend myself dr adbikishor welcome you all in our series of ms asset tutorial so in the today's sessions we are going to discuss about query using a wizard and summarizing the data so in the last session we have specified how to work with the how to specify the criteria while working with the queries and we have also seen how to derive a new column so now in the today's sessions we are going to discuss about what is wizard summarizing the data by using a queries then step to create a query using a wizard how to find the duplicate entries how to retrieve the top n records and finally selecting the n record randomly from the table so what is wizard it is a feature that helps a software package that automate the complex task by asking the user through a series of dialog box that is it is the interface to get a solve predefined task like when you are, it, you might have worked with this wizard while installing the various softwares so the tasks that are complex infrequently performed or unfamiliar may be easier to perform the using the wizard it was originally derived by, from the term called as wizard summarizing a data an aggregate query lets you determine the statistic for the set of values for example you can determine the sum average mean max and count on a numeric field say if you wish to find the average marks scored by the student in a class for a paper math we need to summarize the data an aggregate query is also known as what a summary query or a total query then these are the some of the steps that will help you to create the query using a wizard so of course we will discuss this during our practical session this is just for your reference only nothing else then how to find a duplicate record it might be possible to have a duplicate entry of your record unknowingly which may create the problem of operation like updating in one record but not in another so once you find a duplicate entry you can do a various operation on it like deleting the record manually or copying this entry in some another table so how to do it again we will discuss in our practical session finally retrieving top n record one can retrieve only top n record instead of specifying the certain criteria on a field so for what you have done we have specified the criteria on a field but it might be possible that if you want to retrieve a top n record in that case we are not going to specify any criteria again a certain field so how to perform such kind of operation okay this is the one new thing that we are going to discuss again in our today's session steps have been given over here just for your reference and finally selecting the n record randomly from the table assume you would like to pick up say n record from the table randomly for a different purpose suppose say to select a top n question for an examination randomly questions okay or similarly select the n candidate for hot seat in kvc show or to generate and select the candidate in a lottery system okay so again for all this purpose what you need you need to pick up some random record so how to do it we will discuss in our practical session these are the some of the references and now it's a time to do a practical session so this is our database where we have created a table called as question bank which contains what a id followed by the question and followed by the the mark that has been assigned for this particular questions okay rest of the things we have already discussed in our previous sessions so now we will start with what query wizard okay so using wizard you can perform this kind of operation so we will start with a very simple query wizard then you need to select your table on which you would like to perform a query wizard suppose examination table okay then select the column suppose i want only math column and then next so detail show of every field record or summary i want a summary so summary option what you would like to do i want to find out the sum of all the students mark their average mark it means i want to find out the average mark scored by the student in a paper math the student who has scored least mark and the student who has scored the maximum mark similarly at the end i want to find out the total number of records okay and now next specify the name of the query over here and finally finish so observe that this is the query result total mark scored by the student is 8 883 average mark the minimum mark scored by the student and the maximum mark scored by the student and total number of student we can also use a query wizard 
in order to generate the statistical information. Want to save? Yes. Now, the second thing is that now we will discuss how to find the duplicate entries. Okay, again open a query wizard. Now, this time I am selecting what? Find duplicate query wizard. Okay, select the table name. Suppose joining. Okay, next. Then the select name. Select the field on which you would like to find out the duplicate entries. Okay, and then next. Again, next, specify the name and finish. So, observe that there is a name called as Vikas which contains the duplicate entries. Let's check it uh, in our joining table. We have a student called as a Vikas, okay, and observe that the entries are what duplicate, okay. So, in such situation, this uh, wizard will help you to find what the duplicate entries. Then, how to retrieve the top n records? So, for that purpose, we will write a query query design select the table add close okay you can select all the columns or selected column no issue suppose roll number first name and city then anywhere other than this C column you need to right click on a empty column then here what we have a, here here you have a top value so it is by default choosing what all so instead of this make it top five or top 25, 100, 5 percent, 25 percent or all. So, suppose I want for top 6 students. Okay. Close this. Want to save? Yes. Specify the name of the query and now run it. So, observe that. These are the top 6 students. Okay. So, you can use such kind of queries in order to know the top 10 candidates who have took the admissions. Okay, or first 10 candidates who have took the admission. So, in such situation, you can use such kind of queries. Since this condition is not specified with certain column name, in such situation, you can use this kind of query. So, again, we will open in design view. Again, right click properties and now instead of 6, again make what all. So, this is how you can work with what your top n record. Now, now we will discuss how to select the n random record. So for that purpose, we will a table called as a question bank. So select the create, then query design, then table is whatever question bank, add, close, select the column, for example, ID and question mark and mark all three. Then select the SQL view. Now here write top say 4 order by random function rnd function on what id okay you may, you can also write question bank dot id so question bank is what it's a name of the table dot id if I, what is id id is a field name want to save yes it's a query number 9 and now run it. Okay. See, so what it has done, it has selected 4 random questions of the ID number. So, it will be helpful you to pick up the random questions while generating the papers. Okay. So, in the today's session, we have discussed how to work with the query wizard in order to generate the various statistical information or to find out the duplicate entries. Then we have seen how to pick up the top n record and then we have seen how to select the n random records. So, I hope that you understood all the steps. So, with that, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.